Hello, I'm going to make sub rolls today and I'm going to do a quicker version so this video is not too long. So I'm going to show you the ingredients list that I've jotted down. 500 grams of red flour, 335 grams of 90 degree water, 20 grams of active dry yeast, 10 grams of salt, 15 grams of sugar, 15 grams of uh, vegetable oil. And I'm going to throw them in this uh, mixing bowl, get the whole thing started, and uh, let it mix for 10 minutes, and then get back to the video. Okay, here we go. Time is up. There they are. Put them on the cooling rack. Check the bottoms. The bottoms are real nice. And listen to this. That hollow sound tells you they're done. And if you turn them over, the bottoms are real nice. So I'll let these cool and uh, they're really nice and soft. So I'll let these cool a little bit, and that was it. So while it was baking, uh, I went out in my garage and I filled up my uh, car tires with air because they were low. And the uh, thing about baking this bread is there's, uh, there's 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 20 minutes. Always do something in between. The time flies by. Before you know it, you get your, uh, some of your errands out of the way, and you got some beautiful rolls. So once he's cool, I'll uh, cut into them for you and uh, let you see. So here we have it. Uh, if you can look, these hash marks, I made them deeper on the first one, a little bit of shallower, and then of course nothing on the last two. It's a nice look, looks pretty, I like it. But if you can see, it really didn't make much of a difference in the size of the roll. They're all about 12, 12 and a half inches long. And, uh, Let's just take this one here. It's still warm and fluffy, but I just don't want to wait any longer. Take a knife serrated, a nice serrated knife, and just slice it down. I open that, look at that, pull apart. Oh, what a beautiful sub roll. So that's going to make an excellent lunch.